while I'm doing this, let me show you something. When you put your electrodes back, always save your plastic strip. Put them here so you can save them. If you're in a real humid area, you would then take this, put it back inside the little case, put it in your refrigerator because refrigerators are frost-free and they tend to take out of the electrode any excess perspiration or humidity which prolongs their life. The other things, when you pull them off again to use them, remember, any time you pull off of a person's skin, this tackiness actually pulls off a top layer of skin. It's not hurting, it's something that's going to flake. But when you start back up out of the refrigerator, you may want to take a little toothbrush with some water on it and you just push, push in one direction. What you're really doing is you're knocking off the skin, which is a resistor to electricity and you're fluffing up the electrode itself, which means you have greater contact area. Now, one of the ways we also work with is we have another product, and it's called Skin Prep. But let's say, Elizabeth's fairly light skin, so let's say her skin is sensitive. We would take this Skin Prep and actually rub it over the area where the electrode was going to go. This forms a plastic shield, so it protects the skin but it also conducts electricity. But the other thing we just found out about uh, last week is it has an antiperspirant in it. So if you're worried about perspiration, it works great. <laughs> Actually, the people that tend to use that for the perspiration, people who use the um, stimulation while they're at work and they work outside, they perspire heavily, they might use that on their back and help, it helps the electrodes to adhere um, throughout the day so that they can use it while they're working outside.